okay guys so welcome back okay in this um section we are going to extensively discuss how to what take a trade like how to take our signals and trade and also we are also going to cover risk management the, the proper risk management techniques you are going to use on this while taking the trade you can actually uh, use it on your own uh, your own trading you know you know when you are when you're taking your own trade but also you can also use it whenever i drop say you know okay now first of all what you need to do is head over to your play store download um if you're using android just like me download um this is this app called crypto position size calculator you can see it on your play store or you are using ios it's also there okay so search for crypto position side calculator tap on it and download it as of course you can see it here i've downloaded mine i'm using it so what you need to do is just install it once you install it and that is just it crypto position size calculator so make sure it's that exact one so what you need to do now is you want to um take a trade let's say you want to take uh say you know okay you want to take a signal and you want to what know how much you want to know how much you are risking on like the amount you want to risk in that particular say you know trade so let's say this is your buy bit right this is your what buy bit you go to your buy bits now you head over to what your buy bit derivative section Okay, this is our Bible delivery section. And now you go to the group. Go to the group. And this is the signal X U S T. Okay. So you search for it. Search for it on your Bible. So in case you don't know how to search for it, this is where to search for it. Click on it S U S T. Of course it's there, but I'm I'm just trying to show you how to search for it. So you search for S U sdt i've explained this in the training so so make sure you choose the one on perpetual as you can see the first one is the right one x u s t perpetual under so you tap on it once you tap on it it will show you like this now now as you can see here as you can see i have 35 dollars in this account okay i have 35 dollars in this account but i don't want to use this whole of this 35 dollars i want to know exact amount i want to know the specific amount i'll be using okay let's say i want to use nothing less than 10 dollars from this 35 dollars i want to use nothing less than what 10 dollars because i want to take more trade i want to take more signals let's say you want to take like three signals or four signals okay but I don't want to use this the whole of this ten five dollars. I just I only want to use ten ten dollar or five dollar depending on, on on your own side. Do you understand? Now let's say you want to use ten dollars. What you need to do first and foremost is to head over what to your what calculator crypto position size calculator. Head over to it like this. Allow you to open. So as you can see, it have opened. Let me clear all these things. So. You start afresh okay so this is it now if the signal says long you leave it on long if you say short leave it on short but the signal I drop in the group says short as you can see here so what you need to do is leave it on what short tap on short it's on short right now so what is your amount of capital you want to use you already know that okay you're in your mind you already know okay I want to use ten dollars you tap on ten dollars, right? Let's say you this thirty-five dollars right now. This thirty-five dollars now. I want to use ten dollars here, and maybe you, you come here. You type thirty-five dollars. Type thirty-five thirty-five dollars. I want to use some percent, a percentage of ten percent of this thirty-five dollars. Ten percent of it is what is um, I think three dollars. So it's kind of really confusing, like except it is an around number like hundred dollars hundred dollars you cannot say okay i want to use ten percent ten percent of this hundred dollars ten percent of hundred dollars 
then it is ten dollars. But since it's rational, like it is um uh, you know um thirty five. So if you're trying to use be saying uh thirty something percent, or what you need to do is you can also go to your calculator, go to your normal calculator. I'm just I'm just telling you different ways you can indicate your percentage you want to use if you don't if you if you if you want to put the whole of capital in your position side calculator let's say 30 20 percent of 35 dollars seven dollars 25 percent of 35 dollars then 30 percent of 35 is 10.5 so it, when you type 10 um, 10 um, 35 percent 30 percent of 35 dollars is 10 uh, 0.5 which means 35 dollars is total capital and your what um you want to 30 percent of the five dollar which is what 10.5 dollars but then if you don't want to do it like this what you need to do is very simple you don't need to start beating around the bush by trying to go to your calculator have it in your mind that i since i have 35 dollars in my account here i only want to use 10 dollars i don't want to use more than ten dollars or i don't want to use five dollars i don't want to use more than five dollars what you need to do is come to your position size calculator type in that ten dollar that amount you want to use type it here type it here then the percent type hundred percent which means you are using the whole of the ten dollar okay hundred what percent now that's what you are going to type it's hundred percent so it means you are using the whole of the this thing so what is our entry you go to the the group and search for entry what's our entry 2.700 2.700 what's our stop loss our stop loss is what our stop loss is what um 2.835 okay so as you can see as you can see this is our entry and stop loss and the position size of this trade is 200 200 remember what determines this position size is your capital that is what determines this position size is your capital okay now how do you know the exact leverage to use on this trade how do you know, based on your capital, how do you know the exact leverage required for you to use in this kind of trade? So what you need to do is come to this um, trade amount. Come to this trade amount. Now, you type in $10, which is the capital you want to use. So it's showing you that you are going to use 20x leverage. 20x leverage on $10. Now, if you come over here to the um, the other side and type in 20x, you, you also see the $10 above. That's what you are going to use. But the reason for this other section is because some exchanges don't give fraction of what um, lev um, leverage. Some exchanges do. Like Bybit, I think they have stopped. But there was a time they are giving fraction. But another exchange that is giving fraction of leverage right now is um um mess global i think mess global so imagine you are trading on exchange that um you know have fraction then you can come here and type 20.3 or 20.5 or 20.6 20.9 do you understand or 21 but i think bybit is doing 555 five, five. okay but mess global they are allowed um fraction as well so you can come here and type 21 x if you are using base global 25 so it means if you type 25 x here it means you are using eight dollars okay 25 s leverage whatever this one we give you is the same thing with this one we also give you it means that if the trade goes against you, you are going to lose ten dollars if it goes in your own favor you are going to make okay profit now how do you know the exact profit you are going to make okay if you trade on this x on this leverage now you go to your what you head over to your 
trading view. So what is our risk to reward ratio on this particular pair that we want to trade? What is our risk to reward ratio here? So tap on it. Our risk to reward ratio is 3. Is what? 3. It means that we are using 5 our we are using ten dollars okay this five percent is our ten dollars this red section is our what ten dollars this is our risk which is the ten dollars it means we are using this ten dollars to enter this trade if the if this trade now goes against us and hit stop loss we are going to lose that our ten dollars okay we are going to lose that ten dollars on that leverage but if the trade eventually goes in our own favor and hit full take profit we are going to make times three of that ten dollars, which is thirty dollars. Okay, that's what we are going to make. We are going to make. So this helps you to know how much you are risking, how much you are going to. Okay, your potential profit. So that is just it. Now remember, all these things are determined by this leverage. Okay, by this leverage, by this leverage. Okay. This means you are using ten dollar on twenty s leverage. If the trade goes against you and hits your, and hits your stop loss, you are going to lose $10. But if it goes and hits your take profit, you are going to make, what, $30, which is the ratio of 3 is to 1. The same thing goes here. If you use $8 on 25S leverage here, if your exchange is not accepting this, um, if the exchange you are trading on is... Uh, is not accepting 20x as mass like um, you have maximum of 20x there then if you put in this leverage of 25x it means you are using eight dollar to go in this trade okay on 25x it also means that if the trade goes against you are also going to lose ten dollars if it goes in your own favor you are also going to make thirty dollar which is three times okay it's that simple so no matter what this what this one is is giving you, the same thing this one is giving you. As long as it did not change the value here, as long as it did not change the value here. Now let's go to our buy bit. Let's go to our buy bit right now. So, what is our leverage? You come to this fifty x you are seeing here. Tap on it. Our leverage is twenty x. Okay, this is our leverage, right? Now, what is our limit? The limit is what? 2.700. Now, what is the other value? The other value is the position size you see in your what? Crypto position size calculator, which is this one. Is the position size. This is the other value. This is the position size. 200. 200. 200 what you need to do is come here to the other value type in 200 so this 200 now you don't need to start dragging this uh, long thread to choose the usd it automatically since you type in this other value which is also known as position size it automatically indicate that what you are using in this trade is nothing less than ten dollars so you don't need to start dragging this long thread up and down like this like this you don't need to start doing it so since you have put in the 200 here it automatically choose ten dollars for you from your capital from this 35 dollars okay now what you need to do next is set your take profit and stop loss now head over to take profit stop loss Click on it. Now, the signal stays short. Remember, if it's on long, leave it on long. If it's on short, leave it short. But since it's short, we are going to leave it on short. Now, what is um, our um, take profit level? Our take profit here in the signal says um, 2.93, while our stop loss is 2.835. 2.293 is our take profit. Our take profit is what? 2.293 is our take profit then our stop loss is what 2.835 did you see it 2.835 is our stop loss okay let me type it again 2.293 and 2.835 Guys, did you see it? Did you see it? I said our risk to reward ratio is 3 is to 1. It means if we, the 
trade hit our full take profit we're going to make 30 dollars as you can see here as you can see the, the here that this is what we are going to make take profit order will be triggered when market price reach 2.293 usdt expected profit is 30 usdt which is also return of investment roi okay so it means we are going to make 30 dollars here okay if it hit our full tp okay now but if it goes against us and hit our stop loss we are going to lose nine which is ten dollars approximately ten dollars which is nine point nine eight approximately ten dollars did you see it so this helps you to calculate how much you are risking and how much you are expected to make okay on the long run so you click confirm so once you click confirm once you click confirm now you click short remember the trade the signal says short not long short take note you click on short now another thing you should take note of is your estimated liquidation price estimated liquidation price that's very very important if the signal says take note if the signal says short make sure that your estimated liquidation price is above your stop loss as you can see here our stop loss in the chart our stop loss is 2.835 as you can see it here 2.835 okay there's no mistakes these are our stop loss 2.835 see it in the group as well 2.835 now but our estimated liquidation price is 3.154 which means it is far above our stop loss we are good to go on this we are good to go on this okay if it is what closer if it is um if it's not above your stop loss if your estimation liquidation price is not above your stop loss then you have to reduce your leverage okay you have to reduce either your leverage or your capital okay a any of them so that's it so you will not hit liquidation before your stop loss very very important okay but if the signal says long long if 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 we are giving a long signal or maybe you are taking a long signal which is also buy position make sure your stop loss must be below your stop loss sorry make sure yeah that your estimated liquidation price must be below your stop loss if the signal says what um long or if you are taking a long um trade a long position trade make sure your estimated liquidation price is what below your what stop loss but if it is short make sure it's above so since this one is, is short and it's above our stop loss so we are good to go what you need to do is click confirm so once you click confirm okay you say service timeout service timeout let's go again click confirm the order has been what placed as you can see it here the other um box as you can see it the other session here as you can see it here so this is sgt our limit order has been placed so if this trade triggers you will see it in your position it will be running your position here okay so let's go to our capital as you can see with no risk more than what ten dollars we, we initially have thirty five dollars here and we risk Ten dollars. It's remaining twenty-five. Okay, so with this twenty-five, I can go on and take more signals or more trade. I can go on and take more signals or more trade. Either my own trade or another um, signals I'm going to drop. Remember, you can you know um, split your capital depending on you. I'm just using ten dollars. As an example, if you have one thousand dollars, you can as well use ten percent or twenty percent. You can decide to be using hundred hundred dollars on each trade. You can decide to be using ten ten dollars on each trade. Okay, with this um, crypto calculator price position price calculator, it help you to know how much you are risking, how much you are going to lose, how much you are uh, expected profit. So that makes sense. Okay, if you are seeing this video on YouTube, please. Make sure you subscribe very very important subscribe help us to grow okay so thank you and have uh what's a successful trade okay